All right, here's part two. Um, as we uh, come around here, uh, this will be the focal point of the layout, and the track is going to hopefully hug the front of the layout, um, which is kind of ideal from a design perspective, um, as it's easy to work with the trains and with the turnouts um, when they're switching the industries. And then there is the curve back around. There's going to be a backdrop separating those two, so you won't be able to see the other um, loop on the other end since the dog bone, in effect, is folded in on itself. Um, very space efficient, um, not great from a duck under perspective. Um, if I was designing a permanent layout, um, I would definitely avoid duck unders. I'd, I'd limit it at a knot under um, if that was needed to get in and out or get around the layout. And there are no grades on this layout because of the small size of it. Um, but I definitely would, if I was building a larger layout, uh, integrate some grades uh, into the layout. And uh, that's about all I have to say about design. Uh, if anyone has any comments, please post in the comment section. And um, we can discuss why I designed things the way I did, or um, what other people think about this design and how I use the space that I had available and how I should lay out some of the industries. That'll be something that I'm going to be working on in the coming months. Thanks for watching.